Hi everyone, this is Christy from Paper Hoarder Disorder. We are back for part two of decorating chipboard. Uh, a tiny little series that I wanted to do to show people how to uh, decorate just uh, simple die cuts of chipboard uh, and techniques that you can use to um, create your own embellishments. Okay, so we went over using uh, nail polish, both a dry rub, and you can't see that with the glare, both a dry rub and a full paint. And so here is the nail polish, the metallic nail polish. And then we also uh, demonstrated in the last video how to do um, the dry brush. These two are dry brush, and this one is painted out of the uh, metallic acrylic paint. And then we also showed how to do a uh, heat embossing, and this is with a chunky uh, glitter, uh, gold and copper really neat techniques and that's why we have those kind of bumps in there is because it's chunky. Uh, you'll get a much smoother finish uh, if you use just a standard uh, fine um, fine grain embossing powder. So next up we have um, the glitter. Now on this glitter piece um, I ended up adding glossy accents so I combined a couple techniques techniques on here and I must tell you I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to try this. You can see this glitter under here and then I went ahead and put a full uh, coating. Actually I used 3D lacquer. If I said glossy accents I meant 3D lacquer which is basically the same thing. Uh, I can just get it in bigger quantities and it tends to not age the way that um, uh, the the uh, glossy accents does. It seems like my glossy accents, you know, every month it gets a little darker and a little darker and a little more yellow and I'm not able to use it on stark white whereas uh, the 3D lacquer is uh, slightly thinner, not as thin as... Um, as uh, diamond glaze, uh, but uh, it also comes, you can get it in a four ounce bottle instead of the two ounce glossy accents. So let me show you the difference here. So big difference. So you get twice as much uh, for uh, maybe a dollar fifty more. So anywho, uh, this is what I use and I can use it on stark white and it doesn't discolor and it's really easy to use and I can get it big. So that's why I use this in place of glossy accents, uh, but you can absolutely use glossy accents anywhere I say to use the Crystal 3D Lacquer. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this glitter. Now on this glitter, I'm using Elizabeth Crafts here. These are Elizabeth Crafts glitter, and these are micro fine cosmetic grade glitter. Uh, there are a couple other companies as well. Uh, one of them I do know is the Rubber Cafe, or Rubber Stamp Cafe. Uh, they have a really great super fine glitter, and it's not just fine glitter. It is super fine, fine glitter. It's almost like um, a powder. It's so fine and there really is a big difference because once you put this on it doesn't shed and so it really is a game changer. Most people I know love glitter but they don't like the fact that the glitter comes off and it gets onto any anything and everything and it never stops shedding until the point where it's just your project's bald because it lost all of its glitter and it's everywhere else that you don't want it to be. Well this is kind of a game changer because this does that doesn't happen with this because it is so micro fine it stays where you put it. I'm also going to demonstrate um, the stickles. Now I, I typically only use my Elizabeth Crafts because I know it works and uh, I have every color, um, but I wanted to also use a different kind of glitter that maybe is more accessible to some of you. So let's go ahead and start out. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and punch out. I'm gonna do a couple of these because I would like to do uh, one out of Elizabeth Crafts and one out of uh, the Ranger Stickles uh, Fine Glitter. I think it does say extra fine glitter too. No, just dry fine glitter. Okay, so on these, uh, I typically like to use a little Xyron machine. And um, so I will put it face down into the little machine and I will just start and just pull it on through and I'm going to go ahead and do both of these while I'm at it. Okay. I 
to the right. So there we go. So I put those through, and basically this little Xyron, this is the Teresa Collins one. I just love it because it's pink and has houndstooth. <laughs> it's just too cute. Uh, I also have the Itty Bitty Xyron uh, that does the one inch, and this one is, is an inch and a half. And I also have, if you're doing larger pieces, uh, I have the the Xyron. Uh, this is, I believe it's a five inch or five and a half inch. I'm not sure. I think it's, it looks like about five inch to me. Anywho, this is for bigger pieces, and of course they have Xyrons that are even larger than this. If you don't have any of these things, you can probably use a score tape. Uh, I don't know if ATG uh, like this um, or tape runners is going to be strong enough to hold the glitter in place, uh, but you could use the... Um, the score tape or miracle tape on there. You just want to make sure that you you butt those pieces right up next to each other, and that um, you try not to overlap them because they're it, it might show. Anywho, there's ways to fudge around that, uh, no matter what you're doing. So what I'm doing here is I'm going around and I'm going to trace the edges of this and that's to keep like the little goobers uh any of you who have used these before know that you can get little goobers all the way around your project and uh, they're kind of a mess it's where the adhesive is kind of overlapping so i just trace it out before i pull it out and so i will go ahead and do this one so you just pull off the back and it didn't quite take right there. Well, that still didn't quite take. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have a little area that doesn't have any stickums on it. And you can see it right here at the top, maybe. Uh, but for the most part, it, it got all sticky. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit of sticky. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. There is another way to do it. There is, you can use a zig pen. Uh, if you use a zig pen to fill in, I don't usually use it for larger areas like this. I might have just redone this, but while we have the opportunity, uh, when this dries, it dries uh, um, as a dry adhesive if you just let it dry. And so I just put that on there. It's sticking to me. <laughs> And let me give you a look at that. And so if, you, if you're if you using any of these and you have any spots that did not get uh, the adhesive on there, you can use it this way. So we're going to go ahead and put, it looks like on the other end there, it didn't quite get. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch up this little area, these little areas to make sure that we have good uh, adhesive all over it. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace this one out and see how we get on this one. I might have had these guys a little close together, which might be the problem. So let's see how this guy came out. Okay, and so this one's going to be sticky, so you want to get rid of that. All right, and let's see. This one came out really well. I don't see any spots on here uh, that didn't take. And I do want to clear out my holes. Oops, I'm off camera. So I'm just clearing out those holes. And so this one is ready to start using. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get a piece of, I don't know if the camera is going to like the black, but it might be easier for you guys to see where I'm putting the glitter. So this one's ready, and I'm going to go ahead, and I did this brown, kind of a copper brown here, and this one was called Antique Gold, and this one I'm going to use Solar Gold. And uh, on this glitter, it's different. You don't dump it on. Um, this glitter, you dip your finger in, and I want you to see how incredibly fine this is. If I turn my finger to the side, you can see how incredibly fine those little pieces are. Super, super tiny. And so all we want to do is just, just put on there only what we need, and it's going to grab it. 
and you can pick it up off of off of the paper and we're just going to rub it in. So when you do this, one of these little jars, even though they're about $7 a jar, one of these little jars lasts you a really, really long time because there really isn't uh, any waste to speak of on these. And so I'm just going through and I'm just picking it up. That's on there. You can see I've only dipped my finger in there maybe three times. And I'm just able to work off of just what little bit is still on the table. And I feel just a little bit of, you have to keep on going until you don't feel any sticky anywhere. That everywhere it's sticky, that you have pushed glitter into that adhesive. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that if there's any sticky sides that this also, of course, you know, once you get the glitter on there, it's no, it's not sticky anymore. So it's not going to be sticking to things you don't want it to. So that's the main reason why I'm trying to go around on the sides is to make sure that that's not going to happen. Okay. So now there's still a little bit of glitter on here. It's very, very fine. Okay, and I'm going to use my brush, and I'm just going to dust this. And I'm going to uh, dust it fairly roughly to make sure that uh, we're getting off all the excess so it doesn't end up where we don't want it. Let me give you a look at that. Now look at how beautiful that is. Isn't it just super shiny? And see how smooth it is? It just, it feels completely different. Looks like I got some on my finger there. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I think I'm going to, let me take that off. I am going to try to save some of this. So I'm going to just fold this in half with a crease, and then I'm going to see what I can get back in there. There's really not a lot to save on here, but you know, waste not, want not. Okay, so there's that, and I got a little bit back in there, but you can also see it's on, oop, you may or may not be able to see that it's on my desk, uh, which happens with glitter, doesn't matter which kind you're using. Now I have one of these little lint rollers. This is by Martha Stewart. Uh, I don't think that they make this one anymore, but I think there's, you can use the ones that are like as seen on TV and stuff like that. So on this one, uh, all it is, is it's one of those that you can just, you can just roll it over and you just rinse it off with just water and you're ready to go. So don't press your glitter on the floor, find yourself one of these, and then you can just rinse it off and use it over and over again. It's the best thing for glitter. Okay, so that one is done. And I also wanted to, now that this is clear, let me show you this one that we had to do a little work on. See, this one is clear and you can see it's a little shinier. It's a different kind of shine where we added the extra. So let's go ahead and let's see here. Make sure we don't contaminate the glitters. Okay, so we're going to use the stickles. Oops, if I can get it to stop sticking to me. <laughs> Very sticky. It's doing its job. Okay, so with this one, this is kind of a platinum and um, you know it says it's a fine glitter but it is much thicker and so again I'm just going to pat this on oops I'm going to just pat this on and uh, make sure that it's grabbing now this is uh, this is I have never used this one before I've had it for a while but haven't had a chance to uh, use it like I said I'm so addicted to my Elizabeth crafts that I typically just go straight to them but I will show you that our little repair that we did with our zig pen uh, worked just fine. Now, uh, you're probably wondering if you can just do this just with a zig pen, uh, and you may be able to. I am not sure. I haven't ever tried it. I have used it for touch ups like you've just seen, uh, but I've never used it all by itself for the entire uh, application. So, what I'm doing is I just pushed it in there. 
And now I'm just going to burnish it. Now I'm not going to rub too awful hard on this because I don't want that dry adhesive to pull off of that chipboard. So you definitely want to work from the inside out, not the outside in because that's more likely to uh, lift. So let me go ahead and we're going to dust it off. This one will probably require just a little bit more dusting because it's a little thicker, but I must say that I do like this. I do like it a lot. And this is a fairly quick process. So here we have. Now you can see that that glitter, even though it says it's uh, uh, fine, uh, it's not nearly as fine as the Elizabeth Crafts, and it's not, there we go. It's not as fine, but it's still very, very pretty. So uh, I recommend you try uh, multiple ones and find what you like. And, uh, you know, go with what you like the best, what you can afford, and uh, what's easily available to you. So there's that. Did I get it all? Not quite. Okay, so we're just going to clean all this up. Or at least the majority. Get our cap back on. And we're going to use our ruler again. There's a lot on that brush. And we're just going to clean it up with our little roller. Which just, I cannot even recommend this enough. If you're going to play around with glitter, just... Uh, you, you'll, you'll thank me. <laughs> Just get one. <laughs> it's really necessary for glitter, in my opinion. Uh, so there we go. We have our two, uh, glitter covered pieces here. Very, very, very fun. And, uh, we're going to, um, do I'm, I'll probably end up doing just like this one and I'll probably add the 3D lacquer just like this one uh, because I thought it was just beautiful. So the next thing we are going to get into is we are going to actually we are at uh, 17 minutes. So we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and we're going to do a little bit of the um, Inca Gold uh, metallic rub. So we'll see you in just a minute. 